Hello and welcome back to HOT's video series, Beginning OpenStreetMap. In the last video, we learned how to sign up for an OpenStreetMap account and how to use the Potlatch 2 editor to start making changes to the map. In this video, we're going to learn how to use a tool called the Java OpenStreetMap Editor, called JASM, which is another editing tool that we can use to edit the map. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to install JASM. So to do that, we need to open up our web browser. I'm going to open up Mozilla Firefox. We need to go to the JASM website where we can download the installation files. If I do a Google search for the word JASM, J-O-S-M, I should be able to find the website for Java OpenStreetMap Editor. It's right here, jasm.openstreetmap.de. So if I click on this link, I'll go to the JASM website. Okay, so there's a number of links on this page, and what I want to do is I want to download the Windows JASM installer. If I look down here, I can find this link for Windows JASM installer, and clicking on that link will start a download of the installation file. I'll click Save File, and the download should begin. When the download completes, I'm going to want to open up this file and run the application to install JASM. To do that, I will just right click on this file and I'll click open. Click run. This will open the installer. You can choose from languages here. The only options are English and German. So English is good for me now. Later on I'll be able to change the language of JASM itself, but for the installation I'll use English. Click OK. Next. I agree some options here but the default are fine. I'll click next and install. Okay, next. And if I keep this box checked, it'll uh, tell the uh, JASM application to run when I click finish. So I'll click finish. Now there's a little bit of a problem here. It says this application requires a Java runtime environment. Now the program JASM is based on Java and because I don't have Java installed on my system, it's not going to be able to run. So I just need to make sure that I have Java installed. Uh, and fortunately, this is opening up a window for me where I can download Java for free. I'll click on the free Java download, and this will download Java to my computer. Click keep here. I'll click run. Okay, and this is downloading the installation package for Java. The installer starts by itself, and it should look something like this. It'll start installing Java, and when it's finished, I shouldn't have any problem running JASM. Okay, I've in successfully installed Java. I'll click close here. I can close this window. I'll close this window. And I should be able to start the JASM application now. I should be able to find it if I go to my start menu. Go here to all programs. And yep, just here at the top is JASM. So I'll click on that. And this will start the JASM program. Uh, the first time you open it up, it might ask you if you want to update the plugins. Since it's a brand new installation, I don't need to worry about it. Um, but just so it doesn't ask me again, I can check this box and it won't ever ask me this again. Um, but I'll just go ahead and click Skip Update. Now in the next video, we're going to look at how to start editing and messing around with the uh, interface of the JASM application. But right now, let's just set up a few preferences to make it easier for us to edit in the future. To go to the Preferences section of this software, Go up to the Edit menu here at the top and click on Preferences. This will open up a little window which allows us to change some of the settings of JASM. So here in the Preferences window you'll see a whole bunch of different tabs on the left which offer you the chance to change different settings. The first thing that we want to add is uh, imagery from Microsoft Bing. Using uh, aerial imagery that Microsoft takes from satellites, it's much easier to edit the map because we can see a picture from the sky of the ground and use that to help make our maps. 
So to enable that, we need to click on the tab that says WMS TMS. And what you'll see here is something that looks like this. At the bottom is a list of all of the imagery sources that are enabled on the system. And at the top is a list of commonly used imagery sources. If you don't see at the bottom a line that says Bing Sat, uh, then we need to enable it. Now it's already installed on mine, but I'll show you how to add Microsoft Bing imagery if it's not listed here. You can just click on it here at the top, find the one that says Bing Sat, select it, and then click Activate. And that'll add it here to the bottom. Um, so in the future you'll be able to access the Microsoft imagery within the editing application. Another great section to look at here in the preferences are the plugins. The plugins are additional uh, features that you can add into the Java software and you can access them here by clicking on the little plugin tab here on the left. There's a whole lot of different plugins that people have added and created to help do more things with OpenStreetMap. And if you ever want to add plugins or see what different plugins are available, you can come to the preferences window here and look here at the plugins tab. Click at the bottom where it says download list and this will download a full list of all the available plugins for JASM. Okay, so you should see a big list like this now with all kinds of different plugins that allow you to add different features. Now you don't need to worry about these too much right now because you're just getting started with JASM. But later on you might want to look through here and see if any of these uh, plugins will be useful for you. One that will be useful, uh, more than likely, if you want to use the Walking Papers website, which we'll talk about in a later video, is the Walking Papers plugin. So I'll just show you how to enable this plugin so that later on we can use this tool with JASM. Uh, to enable a plugin, you just simply click on the box next to that plugin, and later on when we click OK, it'll download that plugin automatically and install it in JASM. But before we hit OK and before we install that, let's just look at one more setting that we can change. Up here at the very top tab where it looks like a paint can and a paintbrush, um, there's a whole bunch of tabs here at the top that allow you to change different settings. If you go to the tab that says Look and Feel, there's some options here. And if, you're, if your uh, native language is not English or is not set by default, you can actually change the language of JASM here from this drop-down box. So a lot of different languages that JASM has been translated into, and you can choose one from this list, and that'll, uh, that'll change JASM into your language. Uh, I like English, so I'm going to keep it there. Okay, so now that I've changed all of these settings, I just want to make sure that they're set, so I can click OK here at the bottom. When I click OK, it'll start downloading the plugin that I asked it to install called Walking Papers. It says it's successful, um, but the one thing that I often have to do when I change the preferences is restart JASM. So what I need to do is I need to close the JASM software, and I need to open it back up again. So I'll go back to the Start menu, go to Programs, and click on JASM again. Okay, now we'll start looking at the features more in depth for JASM in the next video, but just a couple things you can see here is that uh, under the Walking Papers tab here at the top, you can see that that plugin has been successfully installed because this link, this, uh, this option wasn't here before. If we click on the imagery tab, we can see that Bing Sat is now an option. Uh, it might not have been before, but later on when we start looking at the map, we can use this to see the aerial imagery that Microsoft provides. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to start drawing maps with JASM and see some of the powerful tools that this software offers. So see you soon.